How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Evil Land 2. I just literally just finished playing the first one last night and I uh well actually it was yesterday during the day, but I uploaded it at night and then um I am going to start this one. I am super excited. I am very, very pumped up to play this. I know I like when I was playing the end of the last one, I was like, I was very tired because it was after like, a, like a lot had happened and it was just a couple hours of playing and I'm just like, I was just totally burnt out. But now Evil Land 2, I got some good sleep. I'm ready to play this. I'm going to be playing it probably like most of the day. This is going to be awesome. Oh, I, because the thing about the first game was I had already played it once before. I was just doing a replay because I I knew I had bought this game and I'm like, why not just play the first one all over again? It had been a couple years. So let's get going. Evil Land 2. Wow, multiple. Good old arcade. Oh, there's different modes. Enjoy the adventure. Hard but fair. Don't want that. Yo. Know, I want to do good old arcade. I think I'm going to do good old arcade, hard but fair. Let's do that. That way it'll be like hard, but... Hello, G. We're going to begin your daily physical training session. When you hear the buzzer, move to the right. There we are. Congratulations, G. On with the exercises. When you hear the buzzer, move to the left. Hey, look at that. So the thing about this game is that um, if you don't know, uh, the game slowly changes and upgrades and goes through a lot of like the different generations of games. The first one had a ton of references, obviously, mostly with just RPG games. This one is obviously like it's got a very simple look at the beginning, but let's continue. Well done, G. Now look around up at the ceiling and down at the floor. There we are. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave this room. I do. I do. Oh, wow. I already have, like, directional movement and everything. Perfect, G. Very good. Now, you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Look farther. And the thing with the first game was that you had to, um... So, I need a sword to cut the bushes. The first game was like limited to um you needed to open chests to unlock different features of the game and that's how you progress as you can see shrubs are blocking your way you should feel an irrational desire to chop them down with a sword we have provided do i have a sword where's my sword oh there it is oh that's a weird button it's control all right i might have to change that Congratulations. You are quite pleased to have chopped down those shrubs. As a reward, you will be put to some relaxing music. Good. You appreciate this music. I do appreciate this music. Continue on your way, G. We will now conduct a combat test in which you will... Oh. Oops, I apologize. A computing error. In short, fight! Die. 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 I don't know what these things are, but die. Nicely done, G. You are pleased with your fight. I am pleased with my fight. Oh, I, I'm not moving. So, that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colors. Yes, he is right for the task we'll be entrusting to him. I certainly hope you are right. A single misstep could bring about the end of time itself. There's a lot more story to this. Rest assured, Professor. We've checked and double-checked. Everything will be pers proceed as planned. Ha 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 ha. There's no, like, features to them, but I'm, gu I'm guessing, like... Good. And we'll be able to activate the machine. I remember what voice I already gave him. Make the necessary pref preparations. A machine. Yes, Professor.
So am I gonna like travel through time and this game's actually gonna be traveling through time? Whoa! Cutscene and everything! A long time ago, the Magi civilization had discovered great secrets. Wow, this is definitely gonna be- I knew it was gonna be bigger than the first game, but this is- No one knows how exactly, but it disappeared soon after that, marking the beginning of a new era. This is gonna be a full-length adventure. I am- Wow. Yeah. Decent artwork and everything. In year 1950, humans and demons fought a merciless war. The human empire won at great cost. Yeah, they... They definitely put some work into this game. Wow. Look at that. 50 years later, the city of Genevieve has prepared the remembered ceremony of the victory. But not everything is as peaceful as it seems. We got some scary-eyed individuals looking down from the sky. Alright. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's already way different. Can I... I think I'm just waiting. So am I still G or am I a different person now? Oh, you're awake. Are you feeling better? Da -da -da -da. Oh, he's got goggles on his head. Oh, stereotypical anime hero. Goggles on their head. My father found you passed out deep in the forest. You don't remember anything, not even your name. What's with goggles and representing, like, the, the youth or whatever in anime characters? I don't get that one. Maybe if you're wondering wandering around the forest that would help your jog help jog your memory by the way I didn't introduce myself my name is oh I have the name okay Finna let's keep the names Finna hi I hope you remember everything quickly All right, I'll give her I'll give her a voice in a second you have found ten you're really gonna steal from those that help you know good best to leave the money here not like you're going to need it Fire must be nice in winter. This pot contains a lot of interesting things, but you can't open it. Alchemy instruments, mushrooms, and butterflies. Who could use that? The chest could probably be opened if the developer of the game had time to code it. That's so true. There's a lot of chests in games that you can't open. Like like wardrobes and stuff in old games. Alright. I have to go outside. Finn Rost, you're the young man I found in the forest, aren't you? Finna had worried about you. Be sure to thank her when you get the chance. If you'd wish to go into the forest, take the path that crosses the bridge and make your way north. But you do best Oh, you do well to get yourself a weapon before you head out. Okay, so I don't have a weapon anymore. I noticed that because I tr actually already tried hitting control. Which I'm gonna ch I'm gonna change. Weapon. But do I have any money? Welcome everything under the s to everything under the sun. Here you will find anything under the sun, except I don't have anything to sell at the moment. The road to the Empire Capital has blocked by a landslide. It will probably be a few more days before they clear it out. Yes, I know, another rock slide. Another rock slide ruining our damn civilization. It's like they had happened every other day. Are you looking for a weapon to go out into the forest? There may be one in the old house northeast of the village. But it's another, it's been abandoned since. I'd rather not talk about it for now. Try to track down old man Paul. He's got the key. But watch yourself. He's not the most easygoing sort, especially if you bother him while he's fishing. So he's going to be fishing. That was, that was definitely a very good way to introduce a character and give you a good description of what you have to do. He gave me every information that I needed. He told me I need to go into the house to get a weapon, that there's probably going to be some danger, and I can get the key from a man named Paul, and he'll, he'll probably be fishing. What a nice day to fish in peace, with nobody around to bug me. Well, almost nobody. What? The key to the old house? 
Hmm, I might have it, or not. It depends. How about you do me a favor in return? Sure. See, I had the fish-related issue I can't seem to solve. Maybe a young fella like yourself can help me out. Oh, I didn't read that first part. Alright, fish and are all tangled up. Can you tell which tell one from another? Each time they cross, follow the line, and it goes left or right. Which rod should I use to catch that fish? This one. Oh, I gotta follow. I thought you were smarter than that. Okay. Ah. Okay. Fishing number. Okay. I get it now. Okay. So. Do I get it? Alright, so one goes down, and then it crosses, and... I am honestly really confused at this. This is like, this makes no sense. And this isn't me being dumb, it's just not very good representation of where they cross. Okay, so I think... The hook at the bottom of this one is one, or is two. So then one, no, one goes straight down. Else is there? Then. I think it's four. Yeah. Okay. So what I did was I just followed where it went down, and that's how I ended up arriving at my conclusion. But I was, that was so hard. You know, key, it's no good to me anyways. It's, if it's no good for you, why did you need help? You got the key to the house. Use your guide, insert the lock of the appropriate door, then turn. I have no use for this, but first, do me a favor before I give you this dirt. Like, that was basically what he said, like, I, I don't need this, but, uh, is it, not, uh, it was Northeastern. There's a lot of characters, too. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of the Demon's Defeat. I plan to wear my finest dress at the fireworks show of Genovina. Your finest dress. Okay, this was the girl's house that helped me, Finna. I hear the pirate are camped out at the Curse Isle. So far, they've only attacked boats belonging to Seer Trader. Rumor has it that their leader is a giant who is with a crazy big mustache. I have a thing for mustaches. A good thing or a bad thing? The good, this is important information. I need to know. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Okay, big mansion. He told house. Yeah, this is... I, I'm I'm loving this. This is all like very interactive. It's it's a full game for sure. The, and this already has the feel of a full um oh five gold nice. I'm going old chess. It already has the feel of a full um RPG. Even this game could survive alone on just the way it's set up right now. Like I I am actually gonna be pretty interested in the story too all right let's get the sword like pots okay it's fested by slimes which were actually like the first enemy of the last game so that's interesting okay do they break up so they break oh yep they break into little pieces that i have to destroy yeah so this kind of is like um i want to say zelda but i have x I have experience points and um and health, like actual health, not hearts. So it's almost more like uh, some of the RPGs, um, like sort of mana and different ones. Have you heard of the Sylphs? They're they're strange beings that exist out of time. Some say the Sylphs lived in these parts long ago. That might have happened to her. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. I got my, I got my sword. I'm ready to go on the adventure. I can go to the forest to the north. I still, I did I miss it? Did she say something about going like uh, to the forest? 
Oh, jog your memory. So I was going for the walk, but that's where they found me. So that makes sense. Okay, who are you? Man, it's so boring here. I can't wait for these vacations to be over. When I go back to Genovina, I'd rather be playing with my friends there and listening to the prophet stories. All right. Prophet stories. Simpler time when, uh, when all you could do is just sit around and listen to stories of the old storytellers. The bards. The north here is the only Solbuck Forest, which is usually pretty quiet. Hey, world map. And I got the achievement for it. Right, wow. wow, that. Okay. Just looking at this, I already see three areas. I see um, the cave to the north, the forest, and the, um, the town. Relic Forest, all right. And I will be, oh, trimmer. I, I destroyed a bunch of trees, and I will actually be picking this up in the next video. I'm gonna keep these relatively short, kind of 15, 16 minute chunks. Uh, we got some good intro. I definitely got the, we got through the intro of the game. I have my sword and I'm journeying out and I'm probably gonna be doing some wall playing soon. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.